Three Guineas, by Virginia Woolf, A Literary Analysis Virginia Woolf's essay, Three Guineas, is a thought-provoking exploration of gender, education, and the societal structures that perpetuate inequality. Written in the context of the interwar period, Woolf's work is a powerful feminist critique that challenges traditional notions of patriarchy, war, and education. In this essay, we will delve into the central themes and arguments presented in Three Guineas. One of the primary themes in Three Guineas is the role of education in perpetuating gender inequality. Wolf begins by addressing a letter from a young man who asks for her opinion on whether women should be allowed to attend universities and join the professions. Wolf counters this question by suggesting that it is not women's access to education that needs to be debated, but rather the existing educational system itself. She argues that the traditional system, dominated by men, perpetuates patriarchal values and fosters a culture of militarism and aggression. Wolf draws attention to the fact that many educational institutions, especially prestigious ones, were historically associated with the military. She notes that these institutions have traditionally been breeding grounds for the male elite, promoting a culture of aggression and dominance. In contrast, women were often excluded from these institutions, which, Wolf argues, has spared them from the militaristic and hierarchical values that men are indoctrinated with. Furthermore, Wolf critiques the idea that education necessarily leads to progress and enlightenment. She points out that highly educated men have been responsible for some of the most devastating wars and atrocities in history. She questions the value of an education that does not instill empathy, compassion, and a commitment to peace. Wolf advocates for a new kind of education, one that prioritizes the nurturing of human values rather than the perpetuation of patriarchal norms. Another significant theme in Three Guineas is the connection between gender inequality and war. Wolf argues that the traditional roles and values assigned to men and women are deeply intertwined with the culture of war. She believes that societies that revere qualities traditionally associated with masculinity, such as aggression and dominance, are more likely to engage in conflict. Wolf suggests that by challenging these traditional gender roles, society can move toward a more peaceful world. Wolf also addresses the issue of women's economic independence. She believes that women should be financially self-sufficient to avoid becoming dependent on men and subjected to their authority. This financial independence, in Wolf's view, would empower women to make choices that align with their values rather than succumbing to societal pressure. She advocates for women to establish their own sources of income, emphasizing the importance of economic freedom in achieving gender equality. Throughout Three Guineas, Wolf employs a conversational and persuasive writing style. She addresses the reader directly, creating a sense of intimacy and urgency in her arguments. Her use of rhetorical questions and personal anecdotes adds a personal touch to her writing, making it relatable to a wide audience. In conclusion, Virginia Woolf's Three Guineas is a profound exploration of gender, education, and the culture of war. Woolf challenges traditional gender roles and the educational system that perpetuates them. She argues that a new form of education, one that prioritizes human values and empathy, is essential for a more peaceful world. Wolf's call for women's economic independence and her critique of the connection between gender inequality and war remain relevant and thought-provoking even today. Three Guineas is a timeless work that continues to inspire readers to question societal norms and strive for a more equitable and peaceful world.